Hello students. My name is Tom. Today, I will be your substitute teacher. Tom? What happened to Andrew, my teacher? Andrew just got stuck in the moon made of cheese. Anyway, let's do the hypothetical planets. What will the hypothetical planet need first? Let's start off with planet X. This is the hypothetical planet X. The farthest planet away from the sun. It is started here in 1995. Planet X wasn't getting close to the Earth. Here's what happens if we land on Planet X. If we land on Planet X, we'll get sucked up by a tornado, or blow away, or freeze to death, or burn to death, or we'll be fine, and see what they are. These are three great white spots. If we land on them, we will burn to death or freeze to death. What's this? The hypothetical planet X. I need to go inside. See that? Andrew have passed away. The security needs to take him to the hospital and get recovered. Tom, what kind of class is this? This is the science classroom. Alright, next is Planet 9. This is Planet 9. Planet 9 is the same of Planet X, isn't it? Planet 9 is a hypothetical planet in our solar system. Does hypothetical planets have gas giants? No. They don't have gas giants. They are hypothetical planets. Oh. I thought I was wondering that Planet 9 is hypothetical planet. And you remember Planet 9 gets its ring? It could kill you. Hey. I already said that Planet 9 gets its ring. What did you say? Planet 9 doesn't have its ring. It's hypothetical. Not a gas giant. Oh I'm sorry. Planet 9 is hypothetical as well. Now, come and look at this. Planet 9 means it's better than Planet X. Planet 9 is the second farthest planet away from the Sun. If hypothetical planets get close to the Sun, they could get burned to death. Is Planet 9 getting close to the Sun? Nope, Planet 9 is not getting close to the Sun. Now come and look. Planet 9 has the great white spot. If you land on it, it could make you die. Oh, that's why. Planet 9 is a hypothetical planet, along the way from Planet X. Yep, that's also known as Planet X. And finally, we have the hypothetical gas giant. This is the hypothetical gas giant. Also known as Tyche. It has been located from the solar system and the clouds inside it. It first proposed in 1999. How could hypothetical gas giants have storms? Well, it's because gas giants have storms, except for Saturn and Uranus. It was made after a few years of gas. Gas comes from clouds or not. Saturn has gas in it. Why could this happen to the hypothetical planets? If you can't talk about it, you could scream. Paul, why did you call me that I scream? Screaming is very hard to listen. Well, actually it's none of your business. You have to go back to cartoon classics. Oh well. I guess I can leave. Bye.